Hi, this is Derry Zangane. Uh, now I'm going to spend some time showing you how to set up uh, secure FTP and FTP protocols on file shares within the ZFS and how to access them. First thing you need to do is make sure those services are turned on. You go to Configuration Services and then uh, click on each corresponding service itself. Uh, you'll know if it's, on, if it's on because of the green light. Uh, you can also, it says online here, you can turn it on and off re really simply there, the service, changing the settings you want, you know, out of the defaults. So with FTP, the default port's 21, you can see it has a default login root directory that when someone logs in, they're gonna go to just the wide open export directory of the ZFS appliance. And then over on the secure FTP side, uh, you basically you can choose a port number and you can add uh, DS, RSA and DSA keys if you want to do that as well. So once that co that's configured, the next step is to go to uh, whatever share that you want to have people access over, you know, multiple shares, obviously, uh, over that protocol. So by default, uh, typically NFS is turned on in a read-write fashion. In this case, it's not being shared. SMB happens to be on and uh, we want to turn on FTP and SFTP. Uh, so in this case, we're going to uninherit it from the project because project has it to none, and we're going to say FTP is going to be read-write, and SFTP will be read-write as well. Go up to the top and just hit apply. Uh, the logins, it does require a login account whenever you log in with these, these protocols, and it either has to be a, um, a uh, local user or a directory-based user using either LDAP or NIST. In our case, we're using LDAP. Uh, so uh, now that we have the, the share set up, uh, we can then basically go into our FTP client and set up these connections. So we'll set up FTP first. And we put in our LDAP user account information. And one last thing, we will pick what remote directory we want to go. Remember, it's already going to export, and we're going to the FS12 directory. And we'll save this. We'll call this the FTP account. So that's set up. Now we can click login, and this should log us into FTP. And sure enough, there it is. I'm in the FS12 directory. I can go in here and pick. That one's already there. Drag and drop files over. And then when we go over to uh, the ZFS, what we should see is some FTP traffic, and sure enough, there's a little bit of traffic going on. We can come in here. Well, let's close this and clean it up. So we can go in here and see some of the FTP traffic started. A lot of the same drill downs there are for analytics are here as well, such as what type of work. Uh, you can look up by username. Uh, you can look it up by um, client. So what machine is it coming from? Uh, you can look at the individual file names that are coming in, what share, so on and so forth. So there is my file name, and sure enough, you can see that's the file that I dragged over just a second ago, performance discussion, and I can see it as it's coming in. Okay, and that completed. The file's over there now. Uh, the next thing we'll do is set up a... Uh, SFTP connection. It's not very different. We'll create a new SFTP. Change the port to 218 because that's the one we were using. Same credentials. Here's where you could use that private key file if you're using that. Uh, we will set up the directory. And we'll say save. And then log in over secure FTP. And there it is, it's logged in. Let's go pick another 
video. So I started copying this video. If we come over here, and sure enough, you can see secure FTP traffic has started. So we're actually going in over that protocol. <clears throat> Same sort of drill down tier. Uh, drill down by user, type of operation, file name, shares, projects, uh, by client, uh, whatever it is you're interested in looking at, you can grab that information. Ah, it looks like it finished right before I started recording the analytics, so that's complete. But that is how you set up uh, FTP and secure FTP on a share. Thank you very much.